Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books and marketing expert covering the woke boycotts. For some reason, Garth Brooks thought he was bigger than the Bud Light boycott. He thought if he made a few insulting statements, he might be able to get everybody to say, you know something, Garth Brooks, okay, I'm, I'm going to go back to drinking Bud Light. I'm going to embrace this new social agenda and whatever they decide to ask of me or my kids, I'm just going to go along with it because Garth Brooks says so. That must be the only reason that he decided to say anyone who objects to Garth Brooks' view of the world obviously is an a-hole. He said the whole word, I won't. Garth Brooks announced he was opening a new bar, a big one. That's fantastic. Nobody has any objections to that. A lot of people would be curious to go visit it. He also announced he's going to carry every kind of beer. Okay, that. It's fine, you know, it's a bar, you wanna carry every kind of beer. All right, great, it's probably a lot of beers you've never heard of. He also said he's gonna carry Bud Light. People were like, okay, well, you know, you're gonna carry Bud Light. We all go to bars, restaurants that still sell Bud Light. We don't order it, but sure, if you wanna carry Bud Light, that's, that's fine by you. But then he decided to say exactly this. We're going to serve every brand of beer, we just are. It's not our decision to make. Our thing is this, if you are let into this house, like if you're in his house, because his bar, you need to love one another. Then he said, if you're an a-hole, there are plenty of other places on Lower Broadway, meaning on the street that his bar is located, and there are other major bars on that street. Okay, well, as far as people loving one another and people being a-holes, they didn't need to hear that from the great wisdom of Garth Brooks. Of course, he can set whatever standard he wants to set for his bar, just the way that customers can set whatever kind of standard they want to have when they go visit and patronize a bar. He didn't need to say that. As Matt Gates made a great point, because not all of us are up on Garth Brooks-ology and studying Garth Brooks' entire life and career and his personal choices, Matt Gates, Florida congressman, said this, quote, I'm sure glad we have Garth Brooks to tell us who is and who isn't an a-hole. Question though, does it make someone an a-hole if they cheat on their wife, write a song about it with their girlfriend, and then publish that duet with that very girlfriend? Or does that make for a good person righteous in their moral preening? Well said, Matt Gates. Who is Garth Brooks to go judging people like that? Why would he put himself in the middle of this? No one asked his opinion on any of this. He's just offering out all of these statements. Now he's had, of course, a tremendous backlash to it. This is so completely unnecessary. He is not a public company. He has all sorts of social and political influences, I'm sure. But he's not wired into ESG like that, where he's got people constantly on him and affecting his compensation if he's supporting it or not supporting it. He just made a stupid, thoughtless comment with no respect to other people which is incredible because the whole point was supposed to be about respecting other people. No one cares about Dylan Mulvaney. No one cares if Dylan Mulvaney wants to go ahead and dye their hair, they could do that, right? Who cares? Dylan Mulvaney here, dressed up like Madonna. Okay, this is the week after Dylan Mulvaney was telling everyone that they now wanna be known as a comedian and not a trans influencer. And okay, so now they have blonde hair and they're dressed like Madonna. Okay, that's fantastic. Do you wanna introduce your kids to Dylan Mulvaney? No, and you don't have to. You can certainly keep your family and your children and your loved ones away from Dylan Mulvaney if that's what you want to do. Dylan Mulvaney's furry fright. Um, For some reason, Dylan Mulvaney was running around with Tony the Tiger at the Tony Awards. Is this good for the Kellogg's brand? To give Tony the Tiger, obviously a character designed for children, the opportunity to interact with your children? Yeah, you do. So maybe you don't want Dylan Mulvaney mixing around with children's characters, but hey, maybe you do. In any case, that's your choice. You don't have to be involved in that. You're not a phobe one way or the other if you're not interested in Dylan Mulvaney. But now Garth Brooks is getting backlash and he's starting to backtrack because he's realizing, oh, okay, yeah, whatever I say is not the word of God, so maybe I better be careful about what I'm saying, especially now having just spent millions of dollars trying to launch a new successful venue, this gigantic bar he's opening. Let's get into the story. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. 
Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. I am trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. So if you can subscribe, please do subscribe. Thank you for that. From the Daily Mail, I love diversity. Country star Garth Brooks defends serving Bud Light at his Friends in Low Places bar in Nashville after conservative backlash, but admits there's been quite a stir. This is the stir. People are literally throwing away his music. Garth Brooks faces fans backlash as they vow to throw out his records after he said his bar would serve every beer, including Bud Light, despite the controversy over the brand's link up with Dylan Mulvaney. Fans are really annoyed. Here's one fan. Robert Cornicelli said this. Country music star Garth Brooks has no tolerance for Bud Lot boycotters, calling them a-holes and promising he will serve the beer brand in his new Nashville bar. Quote, now I delete every Garth Brooks song from my collection. Never again, Garth. Another account calling themselves Hunter Maga, Patriots, I threw out my Garth Brooks music collection, and I will never attend another one of his concerts. More accounts claim they were throwing the country singer's music out. Quote, my trash bin is full, one tweet said, I threw out everything that had Garth Brooks' name on it. Another wrote, you can take your safe place with your Bud Light and shove it. I'm not going there ever. Quote, you have failed to understand the situation. This isn't about sexual orientation whatsoever. This is a boycott of the socialist Democrats. What socialist Democrats? What are you talking about? This is what people care about. They don't care about Dylan Mulvaney. They don't care about Dylan Mulvaney's face on a can. They care about the encroachment into normal traditional society of this let's change the definition of all words, all rules, and let's involve your kids in it. That's not something parents want. We're trained to take care of our kids and watch out for them. For example, Woke New York Times for Kids delivers radical gender racial politics to children. The puberty issue recommends children with gender dysphoria explore gender affirming care. Okay, that's something parents want to deal with with their children. They don't want it coming from New York Times for Kids. They don't want it coming from schools. They don't want it coming from mass media or from politicians. Parents have a right to establish values for their children and to deal with their children's questions about gender and life and anything else with their own children. This is the side that Garth Brooks decided to put himself on by being thoughtless. What he really thinks and really believes, who knows? It's just incredible to go and think that you're going to disrespect millions of people that are obviously very concerned about the future of their country. Not just Bud Light, it's what it represents. But now he is backtracking. Quote, I love diversity. Country star Garth Brooks defends serving Bud Light at his Friends in Low Places bar in Nashville after conservative backlash, but admits there's been quite a stir. So Garth Brooks has defended his decision to sell Bud Light in his Nashville bar after some fans say they would no longer listen to his music. The country music legend acknowledged his plans to stock the beer, which has been boycotted over a tie-up with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney, but Brooks repeated his commitment to inclusiveness and added that if the beer doesn't sell, He'll take action. Well, he never said anything qualifying that before. Now he's realized he's playing with forces he does not understand. People are not just upset about Bud Light or just upset about Target. We're upset about all of it. We're disappointed with all of it. We understand what the threat could potentially be. So we're pushing back now on all of it and everybody is doing it collectively. And it's a cultural movement and it's working. He realizes he is not bigger than Bud Light. He's not bigger than his fan base. He is nothing without his fans. Everyone who's selling something is nothing without their customers. That's the way it is. Brooks addressed the controversy at the opening of his Inside Studio G show on Monday night. Well, let's address two things on it, he said. One is diversity and inclusiveness. That's me. It's always been me. We got the same kind of thing on We Shall Be Free. People wanted to burn our stuff. I get it. Everybody has their own opinions. He was referencing his 1992 track, We Shall Be Free which some country radio stations refused to play at the time because of its progressive themes. The song included lines, when we're free to love anyone we choose, then we shall be free. Brooks added, inclusiveness is always going to be me. I think diversity is the answer to the problems that are here and the answer to the problems that are coming. So I love diversity, all included, all are welcome. Quote, I understand that might not be other people's opinions, but that's okay, man. They have their opinions. They have their beliefs. I have mine. Funny, he didn't seem to respect other people's beliefs before he was boycotted himself. But now he's thinking a little bit about it. Well, second thing, let's talk about being a new bar owner. I'm a new bar owner now. Are we going to have the most popular beers in the thing? Yes. It's not our call if we do or we do not. 
It's our patrons call, the bosses. If they don't want it, then I got to go to the distributors saying, man, your stuff's not selling. And then action gets taken. But the truth is, it's those people in those seats that make those decisions. And that's what friends in low places is going to be. He said customers should come in with love, tolerance, patience, come in with an open mind. Where is his open mind? He's really gotten himself into trouble, but none of us know how much trouble it is. There's a lot of coverage on this. There's a lot of, it's on USA Today, it's in People Magazine, Deadline, Variety, Billboard, Daily Mail. It's all over the place. He's gotten himself into some trouble. I just don't know how much it is yet. We'll keep an eye on the story. If you're one of those people that just can't do that, I get it. If you ever are one of those people that want to try, come, let's go have some fun. Nobody cares what beer Garth Brooks is selling in his new bar. He could have 10 bars. Nobody would care. No one's going to go and check all the beers. Everyone would expect he would carry Bud Light. He had no business bringing it up in the first place. But to then bring it up and call really millions of his fans, customers, and the people that put him in the position that he's in today, it's, yes, his talent Yes, his hard work, but yes, his acceptance by his fans and his customers that put him in the position that he's a multimillionaire that can do whatever he wants, including get himself into stupid trouble. It's incredible to see people not respect the people that put them in the place that they're in in the first place. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. Do you think that Garth Brooks had a right to call people that didn't agree with him a-holes? and tell them that they're not welcome anywhere near his bar? Are you surprised to hear that now he's the one who's starting to get some boycott action and people are saying they're throwing out records on social media? Maybe it's because he's getting this boycott that he's starting to say, hey, you know, everybody has their own ideas, their own opinions. That's okay, man. Come on by the bar anyway. You think that might have something to do with him turning his story around a little bit? Let me know what you think of that in the comments below. I really appreciate when you leave comments. I really love your ideas. Please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.